so much for the house call. I have to find a way into that carriage. of this who the devil are you prime minister i'm your new bodyguard jacob fry i wasn't informed of any new bodyguard who's your commanding officer let the boy speak dizzy <laughs> madam apologies but we've learned of a threat on your life and the met thought it best to move quickly threat what sort of threat <gasps> that sort well, if you excuse me a moment all this not so fast your excellency hey get back here with that prime minister <laughs> walk on girl Steady on. about Gladstone, young man. I assure you, madam, Gladstone is innocent in this. But he tried to kill my husband. Well, we'll look into Gladstone. Perhaps you can help me with another inquiry, madam. A gentleman with ties to Parliament, older, wears cavalry uniforms and has a large moustache. You 
You seem like a rough and ready sort of fellow, Mr. Fry. <laughs> well, yes, I am, actually. And are you familiar with the poorer districts of our city? Roughly. Wonderful. As it happens, I've been eager to tour the Devil's Acre. If you were to escort me, I'd be happy to assist you in your inquiry. That strikes me as a dangerous idea. Then it's settled. Come back here to Downing Street tomorrow night, eight o'clock sharp. Good day, Mr. Fry. But I... Good day, Mr. Fry. Madam? Mr. Fry? Ready to take the air? Devil's Acre should just be coming alive. I'm afraid I must cancel our engagement. The lawn is crawling with scandal-hunting journalists, and I simply cannot be seen in the company of someone so... I'll see them off. You follow along when it's clear. Yes, yes. Uh, be gentle, won't you? The press are notoriously touchy about any violence to their person. Ha 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 I'll barely ruffle a hair on their heads. Shh, Desmond. That's yours, if you can get those chaps over there to follow me. Right you are, sir. Blimey! Look! It's Squire Bancroft! Best lead them astray before they tear me to shreds. Mr. Bancroft! Mr. Bancroft! What's coming up next for the Prince of Wales? Will you be performing Mr. Robertson's new work? Who will you be playing? Any comment on the notices for the play? Done. 
young man. Dizzy ought to keep you on to deal with the lip. Doing fine, girl. In the cart, it's the Prime Minister's wife. I really must not be seen here, Mr. Brown. Let's go. Oh, what a rough place. Give me your arm, Mr. Fry. Let us see what the Devil's Acre has to offer. Your dog quite all right. Oh, Desmond's fine. He's just not over fond of strangers. Or cats. Thought we were trying to avoid attention. Do you know this gentleman is a oh what was it? Yes, a costumonger of all things. Remarkable how the working classes occupy themselves, isn't it? Very industrious, I'm sure. Shall we go? Your pardon, Bishop. I thought that was the Eucharist. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I have no earthly idea what you're talking about. <clears throat> Mrs. Disraeli. <sighs> Everything all right? Oh, yes. I've just learned to whistle. Right. Huh? Some like stress, Parson! Thank me! Imagine you're the terror of London's underworld. <sighs> now let us continue. Why, Mr. Fry? I do believe that man is drunk. I expect you're right, madam. I'm going to ask what he's having. Perhaps you'd let me recommend oh, something Mr. instead. Oh, Mr. Fry, look at those two. Uh, yes, they, uh, they seem to be, um... I've been married twice, Mr. Fry. I'm fully aware of what they're doing. God bless them. meat is that man selling? Best not to ask. Why? Is it something dreadful? <gasps> is it rat? I don't mean to be indelicate, given the present company, but another name for it is Bow Wow Mutton. Here we are, the old one-ton pub. Best... Mm. So, this is a pint, is it? <laughs> Remarkable. Nice doggy.
Good boy, Desmond. Hand over the mutt. You'll change your tune when me and my friends find you. Now then, Desmond, to get you back to your mistress, whom I've just left entirely unattended in one of London's most dangerous pubs. Well, if you never told your father how you felt about him, how was he supposed to know? I never thought of it that way. I suppose deep down we all just want to be loved. Just so. Mm. Here, have a sweetie. Oh, Desmond, and Mr. Fry, I'd like you to meet... Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. John the Tosser. Charmed. I think we'd better get you home. Right you are, Mr. Fry. Come along, Desmond. <laughs> Well, well, well. If it isn't the dog walker. <laughs> now, let's not do something we'll regret. Oh, fuck. <laughs> You're wasting my time. <laughs> no, <laughs> big block off. in the Hussar's uniform. Quite right. Lord Cardigan is the gentleman you seek. Tiresome. Always blathering on about his military adventures. Do you know where I might find him for a private conversation? I do indeed. He's in town now, as it happens. Doing fine. Campaigning against the corrupt practices bill. Perhaps you could catch him in the Palace of Westminster. Do be careful. That's a girl. The government could ill afford another scam. I assure you, I'll be very discreet. <laughs> yeah. Easy does it. Your stop, madam. My stop? <laughs> How delightful. Thank you. Thank you for a splendid evening, Mr. Fry. I shall be sure to speak highly of you to Dizzy. <laughs> oh, yes.
Savvy. Take it easy, Linton. Settle down now. You in a challenge me then? I'm fair to sneak up on someone from behind. That's coward's play. I'm not here to challenge you. I'm here to escort you to the police. moving. Yeah! Oh. 
Won't bite back now, will you? <laughs> Who's a good boss? I'm gonna smash you! Are. you. Sick in the carriage. What's this nonsense about needing a password to see Lord Cardigan today? Relax. I've got it in my pocket. Look sharp, men. Allow no one past unless I authorize them. Cardigan has gone too far this time. I've a mind to contact Scotland Yard myself. Come now, gentlemen. I thought us united in opposition against this perfidious law.
Such a pity.
away for two minutes so I can never clean it at all. <laughs> I'll go and see what that strange noise was. I know you'll do what you want, but I'm begging you. Spare my life. I'll check out where that noise was coming from. Two minutes. Less cretin for us to worry about. United in opposition against this perfidious law. Surely such upstand. Password. Balaclava. Come in. Mr. Hacker, one moment. Dashed paperwork will be the death of us, what? Give me a stout horse and a saber and I'd have this government running as smoothly as Henley Regatta. Hmm? But needs must and all that. Uh, let's see. Ah, sign here. An initial... Initial... Now then, <clears throat> let's discuss this like... Good God! Who the bloody hell? Oh, shut up. <laughs> Coward! Villain! Alas, that the hero of Balaclava should fall not on the gloried fields of Crimea, but to an assassin's blade in the very halls of power. Are you finished yet? Take your bow, knave, for you have managed what no Russian battery, what no Indian tiger could achieve. Claim your trophy, and may you choke on it. Yes, but do tell me more about Balaclava. Farewell. Farewell, dear Britannia. Your dawn shall be dimmer that the Earl of Cardigan sees it not. God save the Queen and the Eleventh Hussars! What a prick.
Apart from the death squad on our tail, apart from that. Backup's on the way. Why are you pushing yourself so hard? It's not your job to fight Templars. I had this colleague. He was our boss's son. I didn't much care for him at the start. Everyone treated him like he was so bloody special. To me, he just wasn't invested in, in, in anything that didn't affect him personally. But I was wrong about him. He became my friend put himself through hell, and he saved us all in the end. So, I reckon, well, I can't apologize to him, but I can, I don't know, I can try and live up to his example. You are a good assassin. Holy jeez! Hello. It has been too long. Galena! I mean, I have not seen you since we blew up that lab in Paris. Uh, there were many explosions and you screamed like a baby. Bishop tells me Otso Berg is here. I will kill him for you. Super. Great news. Now, if you wouldn't mind keeping watch, I am going to lie down and die now. Rest. We have a big fight coming. Sean and Rebecca are safe for now, but we're still relying on you to find us that shroud. Order 
has bred disorder. The sea rises to flood the pubs and extinguish the street lamps. Our city will die. Tupene has failed. Lucy has failed. Brudenell Elliotson. Pearl. All have gone into the night. It is up to me now. The assassins have brought nature's fury into our homes. Men have become monsters. Barreling toward us, teeth out. Our civilization must survive this onslaught. To prevent a return of the Dark Ages, I will start anew. London must be reborn. The Peace of Eden is under Buckingham Palace. We've got all we need. Let's start planning our infiltration. Hold on. Better to get visual verification. If we're going to move, we need to be 100% sure. We'll only get one shot before Otso Burr crashes down on us. Gotta agree with Sean. We'll position ourselves near the palace, but we'll wait for you to sync the genetic data before we move. It's all up to you, Initiate. You're late. Staric is making his move. The Peace of Eden is somewhere inside Buckingham Palace. Let him have it. I've seen your handiwork across the city. Perhaps you should trust my judgment. I've been killing Staric's henchmen. What have you been doing? Let's ask Henry, shall we? I have been repairing your mistakes. Too much haste is too little speed. Don't you quote father at me. That's Plato. And I am sorry this doesn't involve anything you can destroy. Father was right, he never approved of your methods! Father is dead! Enough! I have just received word from my spies. At the palace ball tonight, Staric plans to steal the Peace of Eden, and then eliminate all the heads of church and state. Once more, for all time's sake. And then we're finished. Agreed. So what's the plan? Such an unexpected delight to visit you both. What is the news on the street? Mrs. Disraeli, we have discovered that there is something inside Buckingham Palace that could threaten the... <laughs> what my sister's failing to say is that we require entrance into the ball tonight. Impossible! Even if there were any invitation cards remaining, which there are not, uh, someone of your lowly station... If that damn fool Gladstone is attending this evening, they can have my card. Perfect. Then I'll go alone. Mrs. Disraeli, if you'd be kind enough to inform my darling brother of the location of the Gladstone's residence, perhaps he could use his considerable skills to commandeer their cards. <laughs> what fun! Did you hear that, Dizzy? We're going to pinch the Gladstone's invitations. Thank you for volunteering me, sweet sister. Oh, a pleasure, brother dearest. Now, Mrs. Disraeli, if you would excuse me, I must visit with the Maharaja. It occurs to me that he may have a second set of plans to a certain vault. Treating me like a child. 